guys, I'm Dorothy. I'm Courtney. And I'm Sarah. And we're headed over to the inertia van to learn about inertia. Want to come with? Let's go! Come on! Today, before we get in the inertia van, we're going to teach you all about inertia. Wait, so what exactly is inertia? Yeah, it's a pretty big word. Inertia is an object's ability to resist a change in motion. Come on, let's head into the inertia van. We'll show you some examples you experience every day. Safety first. Buckle up, guys. you ever experienced that when your mom or your daddy was driving? Well, that happens because of inertia. As the car is moving, your body wants to keep moving with the car. However, when the car stops, your body wants to keep moving, but the seatbelt stops you from moving. And what's that, kids? Yeah, that's inertia. In the same way, when the car is at rest, your body will stay at rest. So when the car takes off, your body will jolt backwards. Whoa! And kids, that's why we always wear our seat belts. Because of inertia, this ball won't stop moving until something stops it. For example, like Courtney's foot. But if Courtney's foot doesn't stop it, it'll keep moving forever. So today, kids, what we learned is that I is for inertia. So all you need to remember is that inertia means that if something is in motion, like this soccer ball, it will continue in motion until it is stopped by something else. In the same way, if you're stopped in a car and you suddenly start, you will jerk backwards because you are not in motion and you want to stay not in motion. Thanks, kids.